Password managers hold our most private assets, the login details to our digital lives, our bank accounts, online storage. Maybe if you're like me and your wife is also pretty useless at managing their own passwords, you're also storing their passwords in yours as well. You are holding everything and you should be protecting it as much as physically possible because if someone gets your password and gets into your password manager, they're basically in your house and they can pretty much just, well, take what they want. Yes, you can of course protect this with the likes of 2FA where it will generate a code or send you a text, but nothing, nothing is as secure as a physical key to your front door that you have to hold. That is what we're talking about in this video today as we look at setting up one of these, which is a YubiKey. And no, that's not like a Pokemon reference. Because one of these can be used to secure your password manager. And specifically for this video, we're gonna be looking at securing one password. For first timers here to this channel, hi, my name is Pete and here we make videos all about keeping you and your family safe online. And I'd really appreciate if you found that like button on screen yeah, down below this video, wherever you're watching it and clicked it. And then once you've done that, consider subscribing as that really does help more people to protect them and their partners and their kids online too. So if you don't have a YubiKey already and you don't know what one is, then I did make another video to explain exactly what these things are and help you buy the right one for you, which you can watch up here. But in the meantime, it's basically like a physical key for the door to your house. With one of these keys, you'll be allowed into your digital house or well, your password manager. There are different versions, big or small for USB, USB-C and NFC and work across all platforms like iPhone, Android, Windows, Mac and, and more. But this thing is far more secure than any other 2FA methods like Authy or, or text message. And even though I've run an IT business for the last decade, I never really bothered looking into these things because, well, I just found myself too busy doing everything else. So I'm really genuinely interested and, and pleased to start using these things, mainly on a personal level, because I know that I really need to upgrade my security to protect things like my, my Bitcoin wallet that fluctuates depending on Elon Musk, my private collection of cat pictures, and my kids' investments and savings accounts, which will hopefully be good enough for them to pay for a good retirement home, which includes an Xbox so I can carry on playing zombies until I, well, pretty much turn into a zombie. <laughs> so biting straight into the cookie, let's talk about how you set up one of these clever little things so that you are super, super secure with your own password manager. And these do work with more than one password, but for this video, I'm gonna specifically show you how with one password. Of course, do let me know in the comments down below if you want a video around securing any other specific apps or software, and I'll also add those to the list. Well, first up, you need to go and download the YubiKey Manager from the website, which I'll link down below. Grab whatever version you need for, for Mac or PC or, or Linux, but for this video, we're gonna look specifically at Mac. Now, once it's installed, then you just fire it up, connect whichever YubiKey you've chosen to use, and then go to uh, Applications, PIV, Configure Pins, Change Pin, and then check the Use Default Box. And then enter your new pin, which needs to be at least six digits. Click Change Pin. And now that's done, you need to do the same again, this time for PUK. And this is basically a, a different pin code that you can use to reset the pin if you forget it. And I mean, you could probably set the same pin number that you had, but that would kind of be a bit stupid. So probably set it to something different. And then you need to change the management key, which without getting too technical is kind of linked to your pin. But again, check the default. You can either enter your own key or generate a new one. And then if you want to secure the key with a pin, then check that box, enter your pin and you're done. Now the key's been set up, head over to the web version of 1Password, go into My Profile, More Actions, Manage Two-Factor Authentication, and here you can see the button to add a security key. Just follow this through, wait a moment, and now the YubiKey will be registered to your account just like any other 2FA authenticator. So now when you try and log into 1Password, instead of asking you for a code to be generated, it will prompt you to insert your key. To test this, you can just try and log into 1Password from a new device or fire up a private browsing session and you'll be prompted to use your key. All you do is pop it in, or if it's not already, then just touch the top. Now it's not a fingerprint scanner, but it does detect a physical touch to know that you are a real person and not some like robot thing. And 1Password will now unlock and let you in. Following these steps, you will now be far more safe and secure online and with your passwords than the majority of all the other internet people out there. And again, I would highly recommend you do this if you're holding any form of sensitive data. Now these YubiKeys are really, really great devices. They're not too expensive either and I'm really excited to genuinely create some more videos around how to use them. So if you haven't got one yet, consider using the links that I'll put down below as those do help the channel out and I will carry on making more of these videos. If you aren't already storing your passwords in a good password manager, then there'll also be a link down below for at least 25% off 1Password personal subscriptions, and I'll also find a link for a discount on a 1Password family subscription too. Otherwise, please do like this video, subscribe if you're not already, as it will really help more people see this video and help them protect their families too. Hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.